This is division of a decimal by a decimal. For this example, we are going to be using the equation 4 tenths divided by 25 hundredths. I would start by laying out my dividend, 4 tenths, and then laying out my divisor, 2 tenths and 5 hundredths. could start distributing my tenth and then I will need to exchange one tenth for ten hundredths because the hundredths will receive ten times less. I do not have enough to distribute evenly, so I will exchange one tenth again for ten hundredths. I will be distributing my hundredths to the tenths because the hundredths receive ten times less. I will need to exchange one hundredth for ten one thousandths. When I can no longer continue to distribute evenly, I will exchange one one hundredth for ten one thousandths. And then continue to distribute. When all of my disks have been distributed evenly, I will look at my answer and realize that the answer is what one unit receives or ten times as much as my one-tenth. One-tenth times ten would be one unit. One-hundredth times ten would be one-tenth. I would do that for each of them. My answer would be one and six tenths. I would invite the students to the mat where I have an equation written out eight and six tenths divided by four and three tenths. I would show them how we represent our divisor on the mat with our skittles, we have four large green skittles representing our units, three smaller skittles representing our tenths. For our dividend, we have our green unit beads and our blue disks for our decimals. As I distribute the unit beads to our large green skittles, I would remind the students that as I distribute, I must distribute even equally amongst my skittles. So if I give one to one skittle, I must go all the way across. When I get to the tenths, I can state to the students that the tenths will receive 10 times less than the unit skittles. Again, starting with the units, distributing my unit beads, and then to the tenths. I can bring back the equation, 8 and 6 tenths divided by 4 and 3 tenths equals 2 and 2 tenths.
And so our answer to 8 and 6 tenths divided by 4 and 3 tenths would be 2.